Hello, it's Paul Green FPS. Today we're going to go over the sink. First thing I want to say about this is I do not own this rifle. I have shot it very little. I got my hands on it once. It is for a very short amount of time, but hear me out. We're going to go over the specifications, the part, and I did the proper research to give it a thorough discussion about the AR-15 Saint and what it has to offer. First thing I want to start off with the price. The price is very, very fair. $800 for the Saint is a good deal. There's a few extras, a few extra things they did to make it not just the basic AR-15. We're going to go towards the basic, but not quite basic thing that the rifle has to offer us for the Saint. So, the Saint has a mil-spec trigger, which everybody's like, why are you talking about a mil-spec trigger? Nothing special there. They coated it with a nickel boron finish. So what that means is it's a little bit more sleeker and a little bit more slick, which makes a better trigger pull. Uh, it's a really nice, smooth trigger pull. I got a few shots on it, maybe like 10 or 15 shots with it, but it was amazing. And I, I'm just fully starting to realize this. I know this is kind of like a bad, kind of like uh, coming up, and you see it all over the place. I was like, geez, what do they really have to offer? It's not a big scare for the game, but I was really impressed with the trigger pull and that it was nickel boron on coated. Also, the 1 8 twist chrome on the barrel. A 1 8 is a great twist. It's anything between like 50 to maybe up to the 60 grain bullets. So, you know, you have a variable amount of bullet weights that you can uh, shoot with it. So it, it, it shoots just like, you know, any other AR-15. It has basic setup controls other than the BCM furniture, which I really enjoy the BCM furniture. Only thing I'd really trade out is pistol grip with a hog. But that's like pretty much 99.9% .9 on build, builds. I would really like the whole grips. So one thing when I opened it up and got to actually see this thing and inspect it, it, it was really cool that they had a, on their lowers, on the Springfield lowers, they have a nut or screw which would go up to the upper, touch the upper, and make sure that it's a perfect seamless fit so there was no movement in the upper. I really like that. It'll add more accuracy, uh, more accurate shots with the rifle, and you'll be more on target. I believe that's called like a tension screw between the upper and the lower. I think that's what it's called. I'm not 100% sure what it's called. I should know. I'm sorry. But we're just going to go with the lower to upper tension screw. Now back. Now on to the iron sights. They're included, and that is a plus because on the basic AR-15 is around 800 bucks. You only either get the front sight, triangle post, or you get no sights at all. This is a personal preference thing. Like I said, I would trade it out for a whole grip. I didn't like the angle of the grip. Some people say they love it a lot. Actually, the majority of people on YouTube say they love it because it has a weird, you know, it just feels weird for me. It feels weird on my wrist. But the angle grip that is on there is different. And what I mean by grip, I mean I'm talking about the pistol grip. It just feels really weird. I don't really like it. I like the traditional angled grip and uh, the traditional grip grip more than on those angled grips I'm not sure what angle it is but it's a very weird funky angle for me like I said majority of youtubers out there majority of people on the internet love that angle grip but it's just not for me tolerances are tight there's no wiggly jiggly stuff going on there so that that was really impressed too for $800 budget they are there's no wiggle wobble or anything that, that really impressed me as well that I almost forgot to mention is that it also comes with a PMAG, which is a plus because everybody knows and everybody loves the PMAG. Now, I'm quotation everybody. Not everybody, but the majority of people like the PMAG. Myself, I like the PMAG. I like the traditional US government issue mag. I believe it's reliable as well, but the PMAG has its place. So, overall, what do I think about the same? Like I said, the beginning of the video, the only thing I would change is that damn pistol grip. But personal preference, some people love that angle, some people don't. But the same by Springfield, overall, I would, I have not had much range time with it, but from what I've seen, from reading what the parts are, the quality of the parts, the build itself, and how everything is put together, I would say the same is a good budget AR-15 that has a few extras. 
So if you really want the extras, and um, if you really like the furniture, want to keep furniture on, you like that nice slick trigger that you don't have to invest more money on, and you also like the fact that it has that retention screw where your upper will be perfectly made with your lower. Uh, we're gonna call it the tension, I guess the tension screw for the upper to the lower fit. And other than that, this rifle, I believe, is a great budget rifle. Like I told you guys, I haven't got my hands on it fully 100% as much as I wanted to before I kind of did this. Well, it's not really a review, it's more of a, a um, I guess, exposure video to the Saint and my first, I guess, interactions with the Saint. But it's overall good to go rifle, in my opinion, from looking at the parts and from how they did the build. And I thoroughly looked at it, but like I said, I wish I had more range time on it. So thank you guys for watching and listening to me blab about the Saint and how I think that is one of the good AR-15 budget rifles on the market with a little bit of extras. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Um, do your research since, remember, I have not had full hands-on 100% as much as I wanted to. So do your research, check through the forms, see what other people have to say with this rifle. But overall, I believe truly in my heart that this rifle is good to go, fair price rifle with a few extras that usually ain't there with a budget rifle.